For two and a half hours, homicide detective Jonathan Ross revealed more about Camille Cupcake McKinney's final moments. McKinney was found in a dumpster on October 22nd, 10 days after being kidnapped from a birthday party. Patrick Stallworth was charged with her death, and today Ross explained why. FBI phone tracking records put Stallworth at the scene of the kidnapping on October 12th. Ross testified how Stallworth admitted to seeing McKinney in his girlfriend Derek Brown's apartment, and how Brown said, I want to keep her, and told him to do something sexual to the child, but he refused. The detective claimed Stallworth watched Brown place her hands over McKinney's nose and mouth before she died. Ross continued by telling the judge. He said Derek removed her hair bows, barrettes, and clothing and gave the baby a bath. Prosecutor Misty Reynolds pointed out that FBI analysis found the DNA of Stallworth, Brown, and McKinney on a plastic mattress cover and that there were levels of meth and the sleeping drug Trazodone in the three-year-old's blood. The autopsy did not find any signs that McKinney was sexually assaulted, but Reynolds said the level of decomposition could have impacted the ability to prove such abuse. Now, Derek Brown also faces a capital murder charge in this case. She will be in court for her preliminary hearing on Friday.